Okay guys, so you've set your whole camper up, we've done everything, as I say, didn't take that long. Now the fun part is taking it down, or maybe not the fun part, normally it's at the end of a trip, it's not exactly what you want to be doing, but it is really quick, really simple, we're just going to show you how to do it and just give you a few tips along the way, just things that are going to make it easier for you when you go to set up the next time. So the first one is, always make sure you put down your windows. It might seem like a silly thing, but when you actually pull those walls down and you've got your windows still up, it's very difficult to do on the floor. So let's just go through, we'll pop all these windows down and we'll move on to the next. Okay, so now we're just going to go and make sure all the walls and everything are done. The window as well, so the window we did earlier with the poles, you just need to take that down. Really important that we also put our poles back in the same spot they came from, so next time you go to set up, you can actually find them. Now another little tip, also make sure that these are always down. Don't leave them extended out and always put your wing nuts off, otherwise when you go to pull them out the next time, the poles pretty much are going to fall out and it's going to be quite hard for you to be able to actually carry these through to where you need them. Okay, so we're going to start taking down all the walls, so we're just going to unvelcro these. Nice and easy. Also make sure you take it out from the floor as well. Now we're going to keep these as one piece as well. Now, easiest way to keep this nice and neat is to bring it all out, lay it all down, nice and neat. Now, you don't have any zippers to worry about with uh, sand or grass or anything like that. You've just got the Velcro there. Okay, now we might start up at this end here. If you've got two people, just grab an end each and pretty much just go down to the first seam, or the first Velcro. Drop that over and head down to the other end. Okay, so we've taken all the walls off. Next step, take off the floors. It's a lot easier to do this way than it is to actually take the floor out first. That's why we've done it, but you might find your own way of doing it as well. So we're just gonna start from one end each. Basically, just start pulling that up, but neatly. And same thing, we're gonna head down to our ends. And we're just gonna fold it over on itself. Pulling it nice and tight, going one more time, just like you would a tarp. And then again, just taking it into the middle. And one more time. Over on top of itself. Now this one you can actually pack up one more little crease and that'll fit really nicely in the bag that's been provided for you. Okay, so we've taken all the walls and everything down, we're just going to take the skirting down, it's just as simple as the walls. Pop it off, <laughs> make sure it doesn't hit people in the head. Take your Velcro off the poles, if you had it pegged down then obviously you're taking those pegs out as well. Same as obviously your annex, if you had that pegged down, you'd be taking those out first as well. Now it is a little bit of an awkward piece, so obviously it's not as uh, straight as the others, so just pop this bit over. Straighten that out. And then just as we did before, just folding it in. Yep, go. Again, do the floor at the back here, pop that one in first. 
I like to just keep a little lip on this one, just to keep it nice and tidy. And then just one more fold. Okay, so taking down the actual roof on the annex. So we're just taking out these two poles here that were basically just for a little bit of tension, just a bit of support. They're the first two to go down. Really good idea is to keep all your poles in the one spot so you know these are all your annex poles. So we're just going to pop these out the front here all together. Now because Ange and I are quite short, we're actually going to lower these poles down a little bit so we can actually reach the uh, spreader poles. It's just going to make it a little bit easier for us. Okay, so next we're going to take these spreader poles out that we put in earlier. Make sure that's loose. Take the pole at the lowest end first. Push it up. Wing nut it off. That's it. Nice and easy. It's all come out. Pop it in a little pile. Okay, so we're just going to take out this last spreader. When we do this, we're actually then going to start taking away the side of uh, the, the annex roof here. So everything's going to start to sort of fall in a little bit. So just make sure if you do have two people, it's really nice and easy. You can just follow each other around. If you do have the one, you might need to pop your poles on the ground where you are, move on to the next area. I've got Ange, so obviously it's going to be a little bit easier for us. Okay, so take out the, uh, the pole that we've got here. And I'm just going to take that one from Ange. Pop it all down nice and neat. Okay, so now we can start. This is the really easy part. You'll notice it comes down really nice, quick, simple. So, we're just, just taking out that side one there. All these hooks, obviously, release those. Okay, we've actually left the uh, annex roof attached to the camper. We're actually going to put that over on top of the roof and pack everything down. With these you can actually do that. So um, right now we're going to pop in here, we're going to start lowering the poles down to make it easier for us to be able to put the annex roof over in the end. So we're going to pop up and do that now. Okay, so take the spreaders out. Now as well as the actual annex roof staying on, we're going to keep the tropical reef on as well. Once you've put that on, as I was saying before, once you've put that on, you don't have to take that down. It just stays on top of the camper, packs up and down with it. So nice and simple and easy, really good for those one night stays too. So we'll pop those poles down here, just rest them a bit against the bed. Now we're going to just do the, uh, at the back here, we've got the poles we did earlier for the bed, just for that extra support. Loosen those off. on the bed. Now we're just going to, with this wing nut here, we're just going to loosen this in. So pull it in as far as you possibly can and then actually wing nut it back off again. Next pole is these spreaders that we popped into the side here. Now these spreaders, spreaders are optional, you don't have to put them in, but they do provide a little bit more support if you do have bad weather. Then this wing nut here, just loosen that one off. And we'll do the same. And we're just gonna lower that down. You'll actually hear when it's down at the bottom and just wing nut that back off. Next one is this one here. Same thing, wing nut it off, pull it down. Now what I like to do too is actually grab your canvas. You've got these protection over the poles, so it means that you're not gonna damage your canvas just makes it a little bit easier for your pack up. If you can pull that canvas in a little bit, it's going to save you a little bit of tucking when you actually have to pop, and pop outside and tuck it all in. Okay, so with this door, what we're actually going to do, the canvas part, we're going to zip it up, but we're not going to do it all the way. We're going to leave just a small little gap. Reason being is it's going to allow a little bit of air into the camper when you're actually packing it down, so it's going to compress a lot easier. So I normally like to go just to the bottom area here, 
just leave that sort of little bit of a gap just along the bottom there just so that air will get through and then this one we're going to do all the way up. Okay so we're just going to take out these two end poles. When you do this the camper is going to obviously come down a little bit. Okay so once you've taken out that pole at the back here, this one here, loosen that off, it's part of the main structure of the, of the tent. Pull that one in and wing nut that one off. Really important you wing that one off. If you don't, when you actually go to pack up the camper, it may actually come out. It's gonna make it really, really hard to be able to pack it up and could eventually actually bend the poles. Okay, so little trick to get your annex roof back over to the top, because we're obviously packing it down with. Grab one of your, we call upright poles. So has your end on here that can go through your eyelet. So we fully extend that up, that's going to give you quite a lot of height and it can basically able you to get it over the top of the camper. So I'm going to push that up as high as we possibly can. And basically push it as best we can over. And then drag it over from here. Okay, so we've got most of that over. Then you just head to the front, turn this over. So you've actually got the rubber on the other end and just push your canvas back over to the top. And then Angie's on the other side, so she's just pulling everything over. Nice and neat, and it makes it nice and easy for you to pack down. Distributes all your canvas all the way across, so it's not bunching up, which is gonna be a lot easier to latch everything down later. Okay, so then the next point is that you've gotta walk around the entire camper, especially the front area at the moment. Take all of these off, lift them right up, and push them into the actual camper. So that's going to keep it away from here. It's going to obviously protect you from dust and water. You don't want any canvas actually coming into here. If you do have any that it's actually hanging out when you latch it over, you're actually going to be breaking that seal. So dust, water, whatnot can get in. So really important that everything stays inside this area here. So you're trying to basically get that as far over as you can. And again, distribute that canvas all the way across so that you don't have it bunching up. Next step for us is going to be basically getting out the winch, popping it over the top, hooking it onto the latch and bringing it over. So we'll do that now. If you've got two people, it's nice to be able to assist them a little bit. If you don't, the winch will take it no problem at all. Okay, once you get, or once it's going over, <coughs> pop around and actually start pushing all your canvas in. Really take note of this area here. You need to make sure that everything here is obviously in. That's gonna make it really hard to close if you don't do that area. Okay, so now that this has all come down as well, just making sure that it is flat. You don't have too much bulk in there. Push it all down, move to the other side, do the same thing. Okay, once it gets past a certain point, it's going to come down quite nice and neatly. So you just tuck what you have left back in. You might need to lift it up a little bit just to get a few little bits and pieces in. Now, because there's a bit of air in the tent too, you are gonna find, that if you've got the time, leave it here for a little bit, let the air sort of get out, or will the trapped air get out? If not, you can obviously keep going. So you're basically just pushing at the front here, letting that air out. And the first latches you wanna put on are actually these ones here at the back. That's gonna give me enough to get over. It's gonna be a little bit tough because it's the first one going on. Then pop around to the other side and do the other side because you don't want to warp the top of the camper. Now because you've got your other one on, this one will be nice and easy. Done, you notice that all your seals and everything have all come nice and tight. And then it's just a matter of going around and doing the other two latches on this side and the same on the other side. Okay, so we're pretty much done. We're just going to unlatch the winch and just going to wind that in. Always make sure that you wind that all the way in and that it's nice and straight. And that way it's not going to fall off, it's not going to cause any issues when you're on those tracks as well. 
Just a reminder too guys, you do actually have these um, little clips. Make sure that you're putting those on here. You might also like to put a padlock on these as well. Um, just keeps you a little bit safer when you're out in the bush. Um, now, all we've got left, we've packed it all down, hasn't taken us long at all. We've just got to release these uh, stabilising legs. So release the tension off. Pull this one out, pop the leg up. So just do this for the other three stabilising legs on the trailer, pop them all up, wind them all in, and that's pretty much everything done. Okay, so you've seen the camper go up, you've seen the camper come down. It's really simple, really easy, didn't take us long at all. I did have Ange helping me, but this is definitely a camper that you can do on your own. So if you need any help, any assistance, obviously call your salesperson, um, call your customer service representative, or call your nearest showroom. But I think with everything we've given you today, you'll have plenty to be able to go out and experience this country.